Hello and welcome back to Precalculus 2. This is a special video on deriving formulas for 4.3. So we're going to derive the double angle, the half angle, power reducing, and all of that is coming from this one formula for sum of two angles under the cosine. So cosine x plus y equals cosine x cosine y minus sine x sine y that's the main formula and now we let x equal y which will make it into a cosine 2x and if you plug x for each y in the above equation you will get cosine squared x minus sine squared x now that's the main equation that uh, we um, had for the double angle and now this double angle by use of the formula from Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 this formula can be written in two other ways so this cosine uh, squared x can be written as 1 minus sine squared x which would lead to two separate formulas so first one is when i replace that cosine i get cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x and then minus sine squared x that is still in the formula gives us cosine 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x now on the other side if i replace the sine with what sine squared is and the uh, sine squared x is going to be one minus cosine squared x for pythagorean identity we are going to get that the cosine 2x is equal to cosine squared x minus one minus cosine squared x and when you deal with the distributing sign with the in a parenthesis we get that the cosine 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared x minus plus 1 no minus 1 <clears throat> that's it so now we have the two formulas that are actually used to um, algebraically manipulate right flip around to get the formulas that we need if you look at the formula here we have a square on one side and we have no square on the other side so by simply rearranging this formula we get the power reducing formula because if we if we move this term that way this term that way that's just simply algebra rearranging terms we get 2 sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x divide both sides by 2 you get sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 so this is something that right we just get through algebra so here is the power reducing formula for sine and um, we have the same thing happening on the other side we simply rearrange terms i'm going to move minus 1 to the other side which would become um, cosine 2x plus 1 equals 2 cosine x uh, squared and then we are we can swap the sides so get that 2 cosine squared x and then change the other side i'm going to put 1 first to match the formula for for sine it has a 1 minus first and now divide by 2 to get that our cosine squared x is equal to 1 plus cosine 2x divided by 2. So this is another power reducing formula for cosine this time. And again, it is just algebraic manipulation of the formula that we had for double angle. So all I had to do was to flip the formulas around using algebra. And now our next order of business 
is to come up with the half angle formulas from power reducing formulas. And that is also straightforward because you can see that the two angles that you have, x is half of 2x. So if we just use a substitution real quick, we say that, uh, let's say, theta is equal to 2x. Well, in that case, x is equal to theta over 2. So now I can replace those into the power reducing formula and I will have in two steps I would have the half angle formula so what I'm going to do on the left hand side x is replaced with theta over 2 so I will have sine squared of theta over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine and 2x is theta divided by 2 all I need to do is to square root both sides to get rid of the square and there it is sine theta over 2 is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus cosine theta divided by 2. You have to have plus minus remember when you square root both sides you get the plus minus you have to put plus minus on one of the two sides. Same method on the other side we are going to replace cosine squared theta over 2 it's the same substitution it's 1 plus cosine theta divided by 2 and then we just take the square root of both sides giving us cosine theta over 2 is equal to plus minus square root of 1 plus cosine theta divided by 2 which is the other half angle formula so all of the formulas that we learned they all come from one formula and that formula is this formula here cosine of x plus y when x equals to y we get our double angle formula now that double angle formula has two forms uh, these are people sometimes memorize these as well but they are very easy to uh, compute because you are using Pythagorean identity to come up with these two formulas and the other formulas are algebraic manipulations of these so there's very little to remember in terms of deriving these formulas and uh, at the end we have all of us now you might ask we might ask what about tangent well remember that tangent formulas are sines divided by cosine so you can quickly come up with all of the tangent formulas right because the tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x you can quickly come up with all of the formulas for for that for instance power reducing would be tangent squared x is equal to sine squared x over cosine squared x and that is going to be if you write out everything and then cancel we're going to have the sine formula which is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 divided by 1 plus cosine 2x over 2 and that when the 2's cancel you get the formula for power reducing of tangent which is 1 minus cosine 2x over 1 plus cosine 2x and that is the formula to power reduce tangent now it's not used very much um, but we yeah we can still derive it right so here it is cosine 2x and we'll put the box around this and you can do this for half angle as well by dividing these it will be just in the in the square root and I'll leave that one to you as an exercise uh, to try uh, just to divide these it, uh, it is the same thing like uh, power reducing except everything will be under the square root and then twos will cancel anyway that's it for this time bye